So you do have strength and you do have the hermit. So one is Virgo energy, one is Leo energy. But this is kind of um, um, staying strong about a situation and maybe in retreat a little bit. That's the um, hermit energy. This is being wise and strong in regards to a, to a connection, to this love situation that you are in. And taming yourself on your best behavior, being wise and smart. Either giving the, the uh, cold shoulder to a Leo, either being passionate and taming yourself about the Virgo. However this resonates. We have two messages here. And for this deck I do not read reversals, so you'll see me flip the, uh, the cards. We do have the Four of Wands and the Strength. You feel strongly about foundations and having a family with somebody, uh, putting down roots. Um, Four of Wands is the energy of accomplishments, is the energy of community and celebrations. Maybe you want to be part of their community, they want to be part of yours. Um, strength and Eight of Pentacles. You might be working with this person or you want to put the effort. They might want to put the effort in this connection. And that's Eight of Pentacles energy. Teach me how to be strong. Also, another energy for some of you. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the energy of the mind, right? Resting the mind. It's again the energy of silence, but I'm not sensing this is... Uh, it's combined with the energy of effort, so just saying. Might be planning and strategizing. On communication or new beginnings, Ace of Swords. Somebody here, Pisces, is working on their clarity of the mind, on a plan, an idea. And the King of Wands might be a fire sign you are dealing with. We'll see. This is Last Shuffle. And then we cut the cards to see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for this time. And we do have the Knight of Pentacles. We do have the Queen of Cups, which is your royal self. And we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Sun. Are you kidding me? I want to be Pisces today, and the Nine of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. I simply love this. You know why? I'm going to tell you. Well, first of all, Knight of Pentacles. This is an offer on the table, Page of Pentacles. So whoever is giving the smaller pentacle, the other one is matching up with the bigger one. That's a Knight of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is, of course, can be about communication, but absolutely have two offers on the table. Can be one and the one being reciprocated and you show up here, your beautiful self. Um, probably in love with this person and wanting to um, have something that has potential because that's the Page of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles, the energy of being friends and um, the energy of you know, having, building something that, um, or building steady, right? And then we have Six of Wands, the Sun, and the Nine of Cups. This is happiness and wish fulfillment. And the Six of Wands is the energy of fighting and winning the battle for wish fulfillment and happiness. Can be a water sign like yourself, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but can also be a Leo with the Sun. I'm sensing more happiness, fighting for happiness and wish fulfillment and um, giving to somebody an offer but also receiving one, so we'll see. So Pisces, past energies, you the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's have... Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies, and let's have the possible outcome. Let's have the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, two of wands, we might be at crossroads, and we long for a new beginning, and you show up here, King of Cups. <clears throat> Yeah, somebody is at crossroads and longing for this passion and new beginning. And King of Cups, this is, um, of course, mature, mature um, um, emotional maturity, but it's also the energy of I'm ready, you know, King of Cups. I mean, he has a big cup of fat cup of love for his queen, so. 
and you also have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So this is meant to be. Let's see what it's meant to be. So in the past, Pisces, what do we have? Oh my God, they betrayed us. Are you kidding me? Somebody made a mistake. We do have the Ten of Swords. This is the energy of betrayal, of being stabbed in the back. And we do have the Chariot. Um, this looks like fleeing the scene. Um, Pisces, this is, we got hurt, so I'm out of here, you know. This is kind of, I'm done, 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 done. And you know what? I am moving out. That's the energy of the chariot, right? This is the energy. I am going to have a place of my own. I'm going to break free. That is this duality because we do have the white horse and the black horse. But at the end of the day, actually, you know, freedom is priceless. And it does look like that kind of energy. In the past, we might have moved out um because we had to right this is kind of the energy for my own sake and for my own survival right it because it went bad i mean ten of swords um it was really bad right you are not expecting it because it's all in the back right i mean we come back from work and then boom i'm just saying and now the person you are dealing with, um, Pisces, you do have the Knight of Pentacles and guess what? You have it twice. So maybe a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you are dealing with and they had an offer on the table for you, honestly. Ace of Pentacles, I don't know if that was, this was like an in and out kind of connection and you started over, you started new, but it came from a place of honesty. They came, this person of yours, he or she. Um, Ace of Pentacles is really... Um, you know, bringing something to the table that had potential for investment, you know, for growth, actually. And um, the Ace of Pentacles, the energy of this is all that I have and I'm giving it to you, you know. You might have been dealing with somebody who was very slow or, um, you know, in their approach was something that was, um, you know, happening a little bit slow. And then we got into fights and we got into stress. Are you kidding me? We do have the Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So when we have Five and Ten is double the trouble. So it was a hell of a journey, I would say. And this energy is the journey of insults. Five of Swords, Nine of Swords is the energy of, um, of a harsh way of speaking to each other. I don't know. I hope there was no conjugal violence there. But, you know, Nine of Swords and Five of Swords is like saying something really harsh and then worrying about what we've said, you know. And it's kind of mutual energies. Somehow, Pisces, you got, you, you got hit in this one. So I don't know exactly how that worked. Um, but it does look like a shiny. They, they went out of the situation with a shiny pentacle in their hand, you know. Just saying. Um, probably that is an energy of perseverance Pisces on their side I don't know how this relates to you but that is this energy of perseverance um, probably they, they stood in this situation but the price to pay was one of harsh words um, maybe um, you know anger of some sort and stress and that kind of energy and probably you were the one you know to take off because it was simply like like that is no tomorrow you know so where are we right now we might be very well in love we do have ace of cups aces are for new beginnings uh for some of you there might be um a love interest on your side mm -hmm. now the point is is paired with the four of cups this is a missed opportunity so i don't know if you are contemplating maybe you look back at this connection with your person and it does look like you know, maybe I have to give them another chance, you know. Um, but then you have the Four of Cups. The universe is saying we are giving you an opportunity and you are not paying attention. For some of you, this is boredom and discontent and probably contemplating for some of you. However, this applies. We contemplate a new beginning here, a new emotional experience with the Ace of Cups. We might be actually focusing instead of this connection on, you know, something else. So Pisces, we have a lot of um, um, earth sign here. We do have the devil and the eight of swords. So this person of yours, they are bound to you. Somebody here is in a mental prison and with um, the devil energy, of course, can be a Capricorn, but can also be this energy of codependency of this energy because it's uh, entangled with the eight of swords. So they might be dependent on you in many ways, right? Can be emotional, can be uh, financial, right? 
<clears throat> economics and stuff like this and um, maybe it's a matter of it's a oh my god um, yeah I would not want to be uh, walk in their shoes because that is a lot of um, energy of not being able to breathe in so many ways that's it of sorts unable to see unable to breathe unable to escape unable to um, you know eliminate obstacles and um, and it's the craziness of the mind plus is combined with the devil energy of course if this is a Capricorn that's all right they are bound to you and that is you know it's like you are the most important person and there is no life outside whatever this commitment you guys have um, but if it's not a Capricorn I mean the eight of swords with the devil it's quite a uh, they come to this connection with a lot of shadows and fears and um, like, you know. Now mutual energies between the two of you, you guys have two kinks. So I don't know if I'm uh, picking up the energy of a same-sex relationship. We do have the Queen of Cups and now we have the King of Cups. So, you know, however this resonates, can be a queen having two kings, all that. And no judgment here but might be a fire sign pisces standing between you and this person or simply can be you with the king of cups um saying you know what i oppose this connection right now you know i'm standing i it's not something i accept and i want and for some of you can be both you know in a sense that i'm i'm, I'm sensing a lot of action and some some form of um pushing back that's a king right they are leading battles so i i kind of believe with this energy that somebody is actually opposing this one of you one of you maybe they have water in your chart maybe you have fire so um and um and we are actually standing between you and this well one because you are longing for a new beginning over here and contemplating one and they come to this energy with a lot of um stress and obsession i would say now moving forward Pisces, we do have the High Priestess and we have the Eight of Wands. Um, one is intuition and listening to your gut feeling and Eight of Wands, I love this because movement is coming your way. Eight of um, Wands is the energy of Cupid's arrows. This is the energy of somebody reciprocating your passion and your feelings. This is about passionate communication. This is about all the sexy messages um, um, and the sensual communication right because it's one this passion and it's quick and it's um a quick shift in energies on your side uh but we have the high the high priestess so for some of you it can be this energy of inaction as the best course of action it can be the energy of intuition of enlightenment this is the energy of knowing where your passion is um and um you know um aligning because it's also a very spiritual energy now the person you are dealing with, they do have the tower and the two of cups. This is, um, I don't know, devil with the eight of swords and the tower with the two of cups. It's quite obsessive kind of energy and it's quite of a boom of an energy. They might be very passionate um, about you. Pisces, that is no doubt that is a form of explosion of some sort. They might actually, you know, uh, do something about it. This is like, you know, um, bold kind of movement in some way but can also be the energy of um if you really want to walk away there um with this energy or if you walked away for them it's like the world explodes in pieces here with the two of cups now if your question was if this person loves you well absolutely two of cups and and even in the future there is they stay with the same feeling and they have the same energy but then we have the devil and the tower so you know how it feels Pisces it does feel like this energy of you know we all have all kinds of connections with people and we have love relationships of any sort any kind and some of them you know sometimes the partner has this um, I'm gonna call it talent right to destroy whatever was built you know it's like I don't know how this happens, but they have this um, energy of really damaging something that's beautiful, you know, by either making mistakes, either uh, rush decisions and doing something bold and, and then everything goes up in flames. They might have this um, destructive kind of energy, you know. 
and we also have people in our lives right where when, when they pull the worst up from us you know we have people and they um um how should i say unable us to be our best and then we have people really um pushing us or finding the right buttons to pull the worst out of us you know so it might be that kind of connection honestly because again the devil in the tower it's a lot of explosions and a lot of negativity and something that's toxic to that extent that it might explode at, um, at any second so but that is love no doubt two of cups absolutely mutual energies between the two of you we do have the ace of swords good communication coming your way both of you right this is the energy of having that conversation and we do have the judgment it does look like a conversation about a final decision um this is about a plan this is about strategizing with the ace of swords i tend to believe it's communication combined with the judgment finally we express what we have in mind and finally we are able to make that decision and probably that decision creates the boom for this person of yours. Now, when we look back at the overall energy, Pisces, we have you fighting for your happiness, wish fulfillment, what you want. You're standing in your own power if you have to, but then you have this energy of a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn all over your energy. So this is not over yet. Um, absolutely not. On the contrary, you know, maybe... Um, after a good conversation, we might have um, something of a new beginning of some sort. But let's see what the guidance says. Let's see what we need to do here. You are passionately loved. With the Tower and the Two of Cups, you are passionately well, Let's hope it's not that destructive kind of passion, but something we can build upon, right? So Pisces, we forgot to be joyful. Guess what? The universe is asking you to keep the energy of joy flowing. So you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. So I'm using activation cards, right? What it takes for you to keep this, um, this energy flowing. And it looks like your joy energy is blocked. So you forgot to have fun and be, um, you know, and delight in the love of life. We do have vision, so we need a plan for this, um, Pisces. No matter what, you see the big, the big, the big picture of a loving, just universe. Vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So whatever explosion is happening right now, there is a fairness in it, and the universe has a plan, and we need to follow and trust, and have fun in the process if possible. We do have integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. So we need to um, keep the energy of integrity flowing, right? By speaking your truth. So you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Beautiful. And we have responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. It's kind of like the, the law of attraction, right? What we think about and we talk about becomes in our life, you know, takes up life. So you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So we need to deal with the situation from a place of joy, vision, integrity, responsibility, and now we have past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energies in order to transform your heart space. So we leave the past in the past. This is what I'm hearing for this situation of yours, uh, Pisces. And we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Blame and envy, are you kidding me? I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So I don't know who this applies to, but that... Um, it is quite a situation, I would say, Pisces. And the universe is asking you uh, to act with integrity and responsibility. So let's have two guardian angels. So you have fair decisions. Number eight is the strength, but it's actually, actually it's the justice. So fair decisions. 
Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there is nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. And you have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. So things are working out beautifully. Now that your, ship's, your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. So you have fair decisions and then you have the three of wands. Either you continue with this, either it's time to start something new and move on to something entirely different. Um, this is your guidance, uh, Pisces. And I'm sure with the sun card, there's the overall energy, some enlightenment will come to you. This is the energy. This is also um, guidance and lessons. And it's about speaking your truth and staying in the light. So, I know. And honestly, they bring a lot of darkness. So, your only choice is light, honestly, Pisces. Right? And a final decision. And conversations and a final decisions, decision here. So, hey, Pisces, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.